So today I'm going to teach you guys how to use one of these magical wands. All of my clients tell me how terrified they are of this right here. This guy is your friend. It's important to know the type of hair that you have. If you have finer hair like I do, you do not need to crank this baby all the way to the top notch. It's not gonna do anything but damage your hair. What you can do, however, is turn it and kind of play with it. Learn what works best for you. If you don't have a lot of hair, but the strands of hair are thick, yeah, you're gonna need a little bit more. If your hair is super, super thick, yeah, crank that puppy up. But if you have fine hair, there's just no need for that. Let's start with like, moving it to 35 instead of all the way to 50 and to try that out, see how that works. Each hair is different. So just because your buddy with super long hair down to her butt, it's like five amounts of hair, guess what? Y'all don't need to be using the same thing. It's important to make sure to know where to put your setting. For me, my hair's fine, but I have a ton of it. So I like to set mine at 35. You'll need a can of hairspray. I like the Kenra's Volume Spray, and it has the 25 mark of highest hold, but it's super flexible, so I can get my fingers through it still and end up with wonderful like results without that super crunchy feel. I can still do this, and it's gonna go right back to where I put it. Um, any hairspray will work as long as it's flexible. If you're gonna spray it with some Aquanet, guess what? You're not gonna be able to run your fingers through it, and that's not gonna be good either. So just make sure to learn what works best for you and your hair type. You'll need a couple of clips. I like to use a butterfly clip, and then also a longer clip. You can use just one, you can use both of these. You can section every single part you're about to curl. Do whatever works for you. First, I made sure to brush my hair, that way I don't have any tangles. I'm gonna go right here at the crown up and get all of this out of the way for now. I'm gonna section down and I'm gonna clip this out of the way. I stick the wand behind my head and I wrap it this way, looking in the mirror, leaving this last little inch alone. I usually hold for about 10 seconds and release. After every layer that I do, I bust out the stuff. Now we're gonna section our next part. Same size section. Now I like to take these side pieces and leave them down in the front. I cannot lose those. I know exactly where they're gonna be. And I take all of this, section out what I want, and clip the rest up with the rest. Now using the same motions, I go behind my head and wrap it up, leaving that last inch alone. This is how you're not gonna burn yourself. So many people get in here and they burn themselves. So just watch your fingers. I think the glove is kind of tacky and unresourceful because people burn themselves anyway. Oh yeah. I usually hold for about 10 seconds. You can take as big of sections as you want, depending how tight you want your curl. I'm just going for a nice beach wave, so all I have to do is take bigger sections, curl, wrap it on around. Now when we get to the top half of the hair, I like to start at the back and work my way forward to create volume. I'm gonna make one more big U section here and use this to go back to create that volume. So I'm just gonna twist this and put it over here to the side and get this out of the way. Wrap, two, three, and hold that last inch right there. Now I'm gonna distinguish my part. It's pretty obvious. So I'll just leave this forward. Take this, 
wrap, I always go backwards. This is gonna cause all the curl to fling out of your face and not fling all up in your face and be in your way all day. So I always like to go backwards. So I'll take this, instead of going like this, making it come in front of my face, I take it and I wrap backwards. So that's everything. I'm gonna go ahead and spray and then I'll show you guys how I break everything up. And so now, using my fingers, I'm just gonna go through and quickly brush them out. I'm gonna take you guys on like a little tour here for the final result. Now, because I didn't curl my ends, I'm getting to keep some of that length, which I'm loving. Otherwise, otherwise I'd be stuck with like some Shirley Temple length and I'm not about that at 29 years old almost. If you like what you see, leave a comment down below. If you loved what you saw, give yourself a subscribe. It's right over here. And please like and share with your friends. Thank y'all.